Welcome back guys to another episode Can It Drift Refty series I'm finally very excited to actually be uh, doing this series It's just such an amazing series We've done Yokomo, we have done Overdose Now we're doing Refty And Refty is a no-brainer um, Because I've already installed some certain parts of the Refty uh, kit itself and I think that I will explain to you guys thoroughly on what I've done on the kit. In the previous videos, you guys actually watched uh, me unbox the uh, MC1 but this is the MC1 limited final edition by Refty. The box itself, it comes a little bit slim is because it's a conversion kit. The package is very very nice Instruction is very very clear Let me get you guys the instructions This is the instructions That's why I say I favourite um, Refty Because they give you the parts where you actually need to put in Instruction of installing is super clear Comes in a very professional English uh, translation So you guys can actually understand the whole uh, process of installing the chassis and when you get the chassis they will actually give you a sleeve to sleeve up your chassis and these sleeves are not very expensive but it's a very high quality sleeves this is what I can see from Refty they are taking the extra mile and this is what I can see that it's a very easy installation from a box to uh, packaging as well it's very amazing I like how they actually uh, do stuff and uh, build uh, their quality of their chassis with quality uh, QC as well so uh, in today's video uh, we're actually going to show you the parts what we actually install so the first thing you ha actually have to install is this gearbox place and then we slap on some ref drift arena screws the gear for this gear, our ideal gear, they, you need to buy it separately by Yokomo. Bearings are not included, so you just need to buy the bearings. The spur gear, they give it to you. And then the shaft, they actually use back the Ref D shaft. So you can actually screw it from the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's from the side there. They give you the rear ESC mount. Uh, I use this as a magnetic mount. This is a magnetic mount type. The other type is you can use this and mount it for using your body post. For the front, they don't give you anything at all. So you just have to uh, buy this. This is the Yokomo bucket, or you can buy any bucket that fits for the Yokomo or the Refty series. Uh, Takashima makes good bucket. I recommend one of those. Refty bell crank. Now Refty actually comes out with their own um, what they call this uh, suspension mount all right so the suspension mount they do come out like that and they came with the bushings as well for the suspension mount so it's a very cool thing uh, we are going to basically install the suspension mount uh, on the front today we're going to install everything it's going to be completed uh, with the bumper and everything with the ref drift arena screws with uh, the whole kit completed and then we're going to install our a-arm today uh, the A-Arm comes with a set of their tow blocks That's very cool The price of the A-Arm is approximately 900 plus So we're going to round that up to 980 I think Very cheap Very very cheap Considered for A-Arm and good performance as well um, We're going to include everything on pricing In terms of installation and pricing as well We got our servo ready Okay, The servo mount here does not come with the kit the servo mount comes with the slide rack or the uh, bell crank for Refty. If you guys can see that, there's a Refty logo right there. I don't know why you, the camera is not zooming. There you go. So that is the Refty logo. And then for the whole entire part of this kit like this, first you have to install the battery mount. The battery mount does not give you the height of it. You have to buy the height separately, meaning that you actually have to uh, buy it separately if you want to use a bigger battery a taller battery so you have to install this we put on the ref drift arena screws as well um, and then only you install the gear case the gear case they do oops sorry the gear case they do give you the standard um, 
mounting. So the gear case, they give you the standard mounting for the rear, where you can put your UJ at the back. You guys can see that. Let me see if you can zoom in right there. If you guys can see, this is actually the standard one. If you get the A-arm one, I think it's a slightly different one for the A-arm. So uh, there is slight changes in terms of uh, things. So if you don't want to use the A-arm, you can use the H-arm that is sell separately by um, Refty as well. So to complete the whole kit, we will, ent we will include the price and what you pay for and how the performance is. For lower arm, they also come out for their own lower arm now. The lower arm is right here, the front lower arm. Um, it's Everything is black, it's not fully red because this is my thing. If it's all fully red, I don't see that it's a unique uh, on the chassis because if you want to if you want to see unique if you want to see unique on the chassis it has to have some bling on it not over uh, red right uh, for dampers itself we are still awaiting for dampers uh, dampers have not reached so in terms of dampers we will be using the HG shocks for now or either the purple color dampers for now uh, this is due to the stock is not arrived yet i actually bought it from uh, rc mart for the red color dampers i love using axon dampers but this is the thing i might be using yokomo dampers because um yokomo dampers actually allows you to use the latest titanium shaft from uh Refty. So I want to use that, that titanium shaft. It's a very cool shaft. I might use that. Uh, I don't know yet. We, we, we haven't have any clear idea yet, but we will be using red color dampers um, either by tomorrow, I guess, but hopefully uh, for now, we are just going to complete the kit and we're going to put it on a purple color dampers. I know, I know, I know. It's not the ideal way of doing things, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, we just want to complete the kit and see if it's playable or not. Uh, the settings will go back into default as how I like it, uh, how I usually set my cars. And uh, let's go into the montage. I think you guys really enjoy the montage instead of the time lapse. So I'm very excited to show you guys the whole entire montage of how I actually do things, this and that. And without further ado, let's start going into the montage
Okay guys, so it's currently at, I'm not going to lie, it's currently at 5 a.m. So the final product is actually complete. This is actually the final product. I haven't put in the servo horn yet because I know I know I need a servo horn, but I need to go get a servo horn. So tomorrow I need to go get a servo horn and then I need to put uh, the red color screws with some spacer, maybe a 0.5 spacer on. And then basically I can test out this car. Uh, this car is basically completed. Uh, I just need to put in the sensor cable and basically that's it. And of, of course extend the red color uh, connector. Uh, this red color connector is way too short right now. It's way too short. Um, I, I, I guess tomorrow we'll be able to run this kit. And this kit, uh, currently it's running on this Axon dampers, but this Axon dampers right now, it's not going to be stayed for a very, very long time. So for this Axon dampers, it's not going to be kept for a very, very long time uh, because this is purple. I know it will look very, very, very ugly right now because as what you guys can see, it looks really hideous. It looks like, a, I don't know, it looks like a... It looks like a freaking Gundam car. I don't know, let me know in the comment section down below should I keep the purple or not. These purple uh, dampers are actually made for the purple one and it was my setup, it was my current oil and everything like that. But uh, I did order a brand new damper and the damper is actually on the way. So I am matching it with all red color accent uh, including the screws, we already put in the screws as well, and of course the H, uh, what you call the crap spacer as well. The crap spacer is right underneath this screw. The car itself is currently really lightweight, guys. Um, the reason that I decided to put some weight here is because the car got traction, but I want to add a little bit more traction. So uh, sometimes you add weight, you cannot over add weight. Like my case scenario, I've already measured how heavy is my rear because my ESC is actually not that big uh, for XR10 ESC is really not that big it's really really small uh, compared to where is that servo compared to this servo it's a huge huge servo if you guys can see it's heavy very very heavy uh, so I tweak the weight accordingly to my preference for the rear and uh, basically the rear weight, everything I've added on is to my preference. But overall, including body shell, I don't think it will be very, very heavy because Rev Drift Arena screws are amazing. They don't break so easily. And you guys can see on the rear, it's all Rev Drift Arena screws. It looks really clean, guys. So clean, even for the front. So if my dampers are red, uh, then it will be fantastic because I am very excited to put on the red color dampers. Uh, I'm not a huge fan um, on the uh, purple color dampers uh, because the car must match the whole integrity of the chassis. For Moto itself, we are using a 10.5 Rev D Moto. So this Moto is basically, you guys can see here, let me see if the light can shine even brighter. It's a 10.5 Moto uh, from Rev D. Uh, ESC, I'm using a Hobbywing ESC. Battery, we are using the Slim Type battery from Rev D. And then the servo, we are using the Anniversary servo. For Gyro, we are using a 550. And the receiver is a Futaba because I'm using a remote by Futaba. So, but that is a catch here. Um, Revox that Rev D is coming out with a brand new gyro. It's going to be amazing. Any product that comes out from Rev D is amazing. So I don't know any information yet. I don't dare to tell you guys any information yet. It be is because I don't have any info and I cannot spread false information. That's that's from me, guys. I I cannot do that. But uh, for now, just for now, we are using the 550 D. Uh, and for the whole thing itself, uh, we are using A-arm for the rear as well. So the A-arm for the rear, if you guys can see here, it's black. The header is black, it's not red. Uh, if you want the red accent, then you have to use the H-arm uh, that they gave it to you. That is this one. 
This is the rear, uh, including with, uh, you have to screw in with your gearbox uh, where you can actually put in your uh, ball stud here and then link to your turnbuckle. That's, this one is actually used for um, actually H-arm, uh, recommended. I know I talk a lot on this video, based on this video, but I want you guys to know that this kit is super awesome. I love this kit. I'm not being biased. I'm just saying that this kit is super duper awesome. I wish you guys can try this kit. I wish you guys can go anywhere that has RefD. Try that kit, guys. Try it before you want to buy it. And I guarantee you, I can guarantee you, it worth every single money that you pay. All right? Anyways, guys, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys for the next day. We're going to bring my babe to go walk around, buy some stuff. Then we're going to go to the shop. We're going to try this out. We're going to test out everything. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys are going to enjoy tomorrow's video. It's going to be really awesome. Stay tuned. Good night, guys. All right, welcome back, guys. We are now back into uh no longer in the shop already because we've reached the shop we've done the soldering but we straight jump into uh where i call it uh Toda. basically nothing new it's all the wires that i extended a little bit and then the wi-fi is just at the back the purple we're going to dismiss that as soon as possible and then now for now we're going to test it out everything is run perfectly uh so so parallel anchorman and an A arm with 2 degree uh, camber and front is 7 degrees. So I'm very excited. Let's go and run this kit right now. Are you excited about that? Yep. Okay guys, so it's uh, currently the next following day. This is my conclusion, all right? Um, every part of it, uh, I, I, I cannot state it exactly, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list. All right guys, so this is the list right here. All the parts that we actually use is right here. You guys can pause the video if you guys wanna know how much the total cost for the Ref D is. The kit is amazing, as you guys can see from the, the running clip Me and Jay actually had a great time It was amazing guys, I love how Ref D 
It's so easy to drive. It's so fast as well. It's everything that I dreamt of. And yes, it's a worth buy. The first time you invest the money in is a little bit more, but after a while you get to use the kit, you won't spend as much as you guys know uh, for RC Drift. Because RC Drift, it's always the first time spending is a little bit expensive, but after that, you don't spend as much. You just spend on the track fee, you only spend on the things like those batteries that sometimes when you play longer and longer time maybe after one year you need to change the battery for the consistency and everything like that it's kind of a one-off thing but like touring when you play it if something breaks then you have to change it again and that sucks guys i don't like that one bit that's one part of it that i kind of hate when in RC, in terms of touring, I don't like to play touring. This is this is me, guys. This is I don't like touring at all. All right, talk about the box. The box, honestly, after everything I see, is a conversion kit with the design of the box. Everything. I'm not being biased. I give it an 8.5. Uh, something that is missing is like those chassis on it. Um, I think maybe in the future, RFD will come up with that. Uh, for the packaging, I very. If you guys seen my previous videos, I unboxed it before. It's amazing. The packaging, it's superb. I'll give it honestly nine out of ten. The packaging is so good, guys. Really, really good. The instruction manual is very, 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 very easy to understand. I give it an eight point five out of ten. Uh, for the assembly wise, super easy to assemble. I tell you guys, I kid you not seriously it's one of the most enjoy enjoyable kit that i actually install uh i give it a 9.5 out of 10 a uh, 0.5 is a little bit uh out there is in terms of those uh parts that you have to bring in all together so that 0.5 is there if in the future they actually launch i don't know if they actually launch a full kit i'm not sure i don't know uh, then that would be cool. Um, I think the experience would be 10 out of 10. Um, for the quality of the chassis is amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys. It's so good. The performance, guys. 10 out of 10. Seriously, uh, I love it. Uh, I think this is one of the most enjoyable, the best kit, easy maintenance, fast, and really high quality for all drift chassis if you guys are looking into as a beginner an advanced user or a pro user you guys can get this kit no problem no issue from a beginner you guys can learn everything is really good everything is so good so if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to click subscribe and of course turn on your notification post so you won't miss videos like this Leave a like if you think this video is helpful and let me know in the comment section down below what else or what chassis you want me to build. Uh, upcoming chassis is going to be the Usukani NGE. This Usukani NGE is one of the most uh, coming up chassis and a lot of people they are saying that this chassis actually beats Yokomo. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm trying to make this video as much better as I can. I know I miss out here and there, and a little bit here and a little bit there, but I'm trying to make sure that my editing skills is also improving as well. So stay tuned for the Usukani NGE. It's going to be very exciting. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, thank you guys. I appreciate everybody that subscribed. Let me know in the comments. I'll reply to you guys as soon as possible. Without further ado, guys, it's my turn now to go and unbox the NGE. I'm very excited to go and unbox the NGE. The NGE actually just reached, so let's go.